Okay, so hi, my name is Andrew. I'll be working on this Ford Crown Victoria. We're changing the inner tie rods because they're loose and worn out. So loosen that up and then we'll find the socket and we'll undo the tie rods. As you can see, a lot of stuff in Manitoba is rusted, so it does require some extra effort. Okay, so you count the, you count the turns, how many times it went around. So when you put the new inner tie rod in, you have a ballpark idea of where it was. Makes it easier for alignment. Okay. That's in there pretty good. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this because it's seized on there and it doesn't want to turn and free up. So well, they instruct you never to apply heat or the torch to a front end component but we're changing it anyway, so that, that you can disregard. But if I was just going to do an alignment and everything checked out okay, and I still required heat, you, you really wanna kinda of shy away from that because you can damage some components. Well, no, now I'm take, trying to take the uh, protective boot off of the uh, steering gear. Find some water moisture in there little bits, kind of normal, but there we go. As you can see, that's why it's no good. Okay. So as you can see, this is a new inner tie rod and it is very stiff to move, right? So if it's harder to move, it's not gonna flex, it's not gonna throw your steering out. Oh, and before installing, we're gonna use the blue Loctite just to ensure that it doesn't come loose. This is kind of important. You're going to go and look up the vehicle. So you want to find the torque spec. In this case, it's uh, 74 foot-pounds. Set up a torque wrench. Well, when you bring the car in for an alignment check, as an example, and, and you're, the technician's checking the steering and they're doing it by feel, if they feel something loose, the clunking when you're when you're steering it, uh, when the technician's steering it, uh, you can and you can see play in it, then uh, then it will obviously be worn out. But you have that metal clamp that goes on here. I refer to it as a CV style clamp, CV boot style clamp, and that goes on there, and that helps to seal out uh, any water and mud, dirt, road grime, debris. So basically, what I'm doing here is just some anti-seize compound. So we'll do alignment, but like say a couple of years down the road, he has a ball joint change or new shocks and struts or what have you, and he has to get alignment again. At least it won't be seized up this time. Okay, this tie rod's been changed at one time. So we're gonna put, put some grease in there for that one. And as you can see, nothing else on here is greasable. This is the only thing that's now greasable. Okay, so we will be doing alignment on this vehicle. So we're gonna wanna make sure the tires are uh, correctly inflated. I have checked the front end already. It is tight, so we will just adjust the tire pressures and we'll send it over to alignment rack. So these, these inner tie rods in behind the boots took apart this part of the steering gear, replaced the inner tie rods. And that is how we try and do things as best as possible at ride time. You can catch us at ridetime.ca. And I'm Andrew. Have a nice day.